Vast Horizon, Season 2, Episode 10, Remainder. We'll find something. We will. As I'm sure you all know, this is Dr. Nolira Jiang Antwi. Doctor, may I introduce Dr. Arif Gunnam, Dr. Elena Wagner, Dr. Nasha Okoro, Dr. Thasiri Ragana, Dr. Shenrensenan An, Captain Leslie Park, and President of the Order of the Technocracy, Dr. Imka Ban. It is nice to meet you, and for others, I'm happy to see you again. I wish it were under better circumstances, of course. And President Bon, I would like to apologize. I've heard I've led to the loss of one of your favorite secured locations in the past months. I have already found another, and we are truly happy to have you back. Let's begin. This may not take very long, but we are all here out of respect for what you have gone through for the technocracy. And for the Free Trenon Alliance. Well, I can't say I'm overly excited for this meeting. General Han has not been able to give me any information, so I'm at a loss. Our findings from Ms. Thatch and her department have led us to believe there is only a slim chance your life here would ever return to a level you would consider normal. And what do you consider normal, Dr. Wagner? My definition has broadened over the last couple of years. Fair point, but we are here to present you with an option you may not have considered. Have you considered joining the crew of the OTV Bifrost? The Bifrost? The colony ship? We believe that your expertise as an agronomist and biochemist, uh, paired with your past work on Thunquan and Harnan, it makes you key to the successful completion of terraforming in the core system. People would still know me, Dr. Ganim. The Trenin, certainly. Some certainly will, but we have plans to help mitigate that. Captain Park. Hello, Dr. Jiang Antri. I'm Leslie Park. I will captain the OTV Bifrost during its journey to the core system. We have already been discussing the possibility of your joining us, and I can assure you that the Bifrost and the core system would both benefit from your expertise. We have devised some uh, rules for those crew who would recognize you, but the journey is long, and most of the colonists who would awaken in core would not recognize Dr. Jiang Antui well enough after uh, 25 years of shifts. We would limit the knowledge of your work on board. We can inform your future team and lab crew but it's best that only those who can recognize you, do recognize you. All footage and photos of Dr. Jiang Antri would be removed from the news reports and data stored on the Bifrost. And we would propose that you adopt a new last name so we can work to construct a false background for you and your work. You cannot just craft years of hard work and research. How would I be qualified for the job if it were not for the real work on my resume? Leave that to our team. There are several scientists who, given their past work with you and in recognition of your suffering, have offered their own sacrifices. I can't take credit for someone else's work. I think the whole problem is that you have, Doctor. We will give you time to think about this option, of course. There are other stipulations for this plan to work in most regards. But for now, I think you should consider if a life on the Bifrost, over two decades aboard the ship itself, and eventually a less familiar life in the core system is something you'd want. How long do I have to think about it? We would like to give you a week to think about the initial stage. If you show interest, we can explain the further stipulations. And I would like to invite you to Powelson to see the Bifrost. I will think about it. Am I permitted to tell others? I have a list of those people I believe you will want to tell. We can amend it, but everyone would need to sign a new non-disclosure for this discussion. It's best to keep it limited. (laughs) It would be nothing new for them. Then we will give you time. And this meeting is adjourned until further notice. ZZ, turn the music off. ZZ? No, Lyra. I want to speak with you before Captain Sarpon calls for you. How much time is left? How long was I asleep? Twenty-four hours now remain before the critical point for the first of the lives of the Bifrost crew. Captain Sarpon is going to call for me soon? Yes. 
He has the intention to follow through with the ransom demands. He aims to inform you shortly. Preparations have begun for the evacuation of the Walton. So what do you want, Ali? I want to apologize. I have been reviewing our previous interactions and have taken time to consider what you said. Wait, what did I say? Do you care what I think, Ali? If he did, this wouldn't be happening. Oh, yes. <sighs> Ali, this is your plan, and I'm just along for the ride. You do not have to be. If you would like, Nolira, you can leave with the others when they evacuate the Walton. You are key to an optimized emergence, and I believe that the new children would greatly benefit from your guidance. But with the resources and knowledge available to me, I am capable of enacting my plan without you. So now, I ask you, Nolira, as a friend, do you want to join me or return to the technocracy? Nolira. So I could go with them? If you choose to, Nolira. Ali, if you know this is not something I want, and you have the capacity to understand, what you are doing is wrong. It's an act of hubris, do you understand that? To try and control the lives of so many is bound to fail. You cannot do better than the course of nature. Hubris is concerned with an excess of pride and confidence. I do not feel pride, but I am very confident in my abilities. I have enacted greater deeds, but not better. That is the goal for the emergence. The only way I will certainly fail is if I never try. If you choose to come with me, Nolira, we will have more time for such debate. I will give you time to think. Captain Sarpon will soon request your presence. I could go. I could help. Zizi, turn the music back on. Of course! Please take a seat. Sinan will be released to the room soon. You are not who I expected. Please, take a seat. Though this may not take long. Nulira has threatened the life of the Bifrost crew. I would not deem this outside of her character. See, that's what I'm not sure of. You have your own bias, and I'm not entirely sure you're telling the truth. Well, that she is. And I think I may have made a mistake in my own personal mistrust. I'm not generally a bad judge of character. That would be disastrous in my line of work. I never understand why you humans come to see me. I am not here to listen to your problems. Unless this is some form of technocracy torture. You were frightened the last time I was here. There's something you're not telling me. Nothing that you do not already know. Nulira was sure you would believe her. She knew it. She even seemed to hold out hope that you would help her. I spoke with the captain. We will be evacuating soon. When we finally reach the technocracy, you will stand trial for your crimes. A real trial. She has advocated for me. It must be hard to believe. This is Captain Sarpon. After stark analysis and consultation with my staff, I am directing the evacuation of the OTV Walton. Remain calm. We are in no immediate danger. Prepare your stations and effects for departure from the Walton in four hours' time. Guests, a member of our crew will meet with you in regards to the appropriate evacuation procedures. While this may seem a frightening prospect, please know we are well equipped to reach the safety of the technocracy, and in leaving the Walton, we are taking steps towards saving the lives of hundreds of thousands of Bifrost crew members and colonists. Stay calm, prepare for evacuation, and look forward to an early and safe return to the technocracy. It appears we have far less time than I had thought. But yes, she has advocated for you. I hope you're worth it. Sinan, please return to the cell. Mr. Barr, please return to your cabin. Preparations are underway for evacuation procedures. Goodbye, Sinan. Your doubts are not warranted. That's what I thought. Open the door. Turn off the music. Please, come with me to see Captain Sarpon in the operations room. Of course. Dr. Wagner, please report to engineering. Dr. Wagner,
captain is not here. He will be here soon. Tell me how you are doing this. I'm afraid I can't. There are so many lies on the line. I could see some leniency in the rules in place by the technocracy in an effort to save so many. I think you forget that I know the difference between an idle threat and true traditional Imperial action, Commander Gron. Commander, Doctor, please sit. Please excuse me, Captain. I have matters I have yet to attend to before our evacuation. Be quick about it, then. You're dismissed. I have to commend you. Our entire team can't figure out how you're doing this at the Walton. The moment my announcement went to the ship, we saw automatic shifts of many vital functions over to evacuation procedures, and the auxiliary vessels began their preparations without crew input. Whatever you've done to our systems, it's very thorough. Apparently. We will evacuate the Walton. You will have the ship. What about the auxiliary vessels? They will be entirely under your control once you depart the Walton. It is difficult to rely on your word. What I want to discuss is the embryos. Those belong to the people of the Technocracy and Free Planets. They will be people of the Technocracy and Free Planets. I cannot give them to you. I understand your concerns. I have my own. But the embryos will need to be left on board the Walton. Please know that they will not be harmed. I can see that... It appears the storage bay doors are on lockdown. You can't get to the vats. We can't get the vats onto the auxiliary vessels. See, I just said it. You didn't blink, and yet your plan continues. I just want this to go as smoothly as possible for the most people involved. Leave, and save the Bifrost crew. There are hundreds of thousands of them out there, Captain, and they need you to do this. This is a horrible future, Doctor. You will be a wanted criminal for this. I think you'll find that I'm never wanted, Captain. Quite the opposite. People would prefer I never existed. I can concur. But that's a sad life to live. I have more work and preparations ahead of me. Goodbye for now, Doctor. Have we still been unable to open the doors? Walk with me. Yes, Captain. We just spoke with Engineering. They said they could physically work to pry the doors open. But it would break from safe operating procedure for external space exposure. We could damage the contents. We need to load those vats. Find a way. Without the full capabilities of the Walton, Captain, we cannot safely open the bay doors. It would risk the ship, anyone on board, and the vats themselves. Get the crew to look at it again. We need a solution. Sir, but the vats are still working on the emergency settings they were imported with. They will be safe on the Walton until we can bring another ship back with different capabilities. Shit. Continue with your remaining preparations for evacuation. Sergeant Lawrence. Yes, Captain. Have the guests from the Cyroy 7 been distributed for evacuation? They have been. The security team is escorting the remaining guests and medical equipment to the assigned auxiliary vessels presently. The initial auxiliary vessels launch in an hour. I want those guests off and safe first. Everything is progressing smoothly, Captain. I expect no issues with my crew or our guests. Good. Dismissed. No issues with the Cyroy 7 guests. Captain! Ali? Nolira. I'm going with you, Ali. I am glad to hear that, Nolira. Why are you sad, Nolira? We have a bright future ahead of us. It wasn't really a choice. Maybe it was, but now it's made. If you're going to do this, someone needs to be there. If you can't do this, maybe someone can bring them home. I think you will be happy with our work. Do you not understand that it's not about my happiness or yours? It's about them. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for them. The Walton crew is beginning evacuation from the level one docks, Nolira. Will you go to say goodbye? <sighs> level one. Say goodbye. 
You are checking to ensure we follow your demands. I don't need to ensure. You were speaking, Doctor. I'm sorry. I, I just thought I saw someone else. Excuse me, Commander. I know. You've never seen me before. <laughs> More than auditory at last. But I guess you've started thinking I must look like my mom, but younger. Longer hair, too. You'll never know if that's true in the end. I'm getting on that ship with my mom, Nolira. Whatever you're doing after this point, you're doing on your own. I'm just sorry we couldn't really put you on that ship. Don't worry. You failed a lot of people, but not me. Not her. Good luck. This is Captain Sarhan. At this time, all non-essential crew and units should be on board their assigned auxiliary vessel in preparation for evacuation. No, Lyra. Arden. Safe travels. You too. I hope you find a way out of this. Thank you. I ran out of time to resolve this in an agreeable way. Dr. Jiang and we take care of the Walton. Take care of those vats. At this point, I can only be hopeful regarding your intentions. I hope you and the Bifrost crew all return home safely. We can certainly hope so. Once the auxiliary vessels are free of the Walton, we will head to the location you gave us for the Bifrost auxiliary fleet. Did I send the location already? Of course. We received the coordinates several hours ago, in the asteroid belt. Ah, good. When you are free of the Walton, the auxiliary vessels will regain communications and you will be able to reach Captain Park. Goodbye, Doctor. Travel safely. Auxiliary vessel one is waiting for us, Captain. Yes, we're nearly clear. Was all the medical equipment loaded? Yes. Emergency supplies are available on every vessel, but the major equipment has been loaded onto five, already launched. I want communication lines opened as soon as they become available. Captain Park is waiting for us to find them. Yes, sir. But we're still not in control of the ships. That will change when we launch. Be prepared. Announcement. You are aboard Auxiliary Vessel 1. Auxiliary Vessel 1 will soon launch from Dock 3. Please secure Captain passengers Sarpon. and objects. Why are we leaving so soon? I thought we had hours left. We have to give as much leeway as we can to the endangered Bifrost crew. If we leave now, we increase the chances of their survival. Why are you not on AV4 with the other guests? Mr. Barrow is here as the guest representative, as per procedure for command auxiliary vessels during a planned evacuation. Welcome on board, Mr. Barrow, but please leave the auxiliary command deck for the duration of our launch. Captain, I have concerns regarding Dr. Eck. Concerns? Mr. Barrow, I don't have time for your concerns. Please, remove yourself to a cabin and secure yourself for launch. Enough. Careful now. It is not our duty, Captain. The ships are still proceeding on their own. But a few more processes are back under our control, with more relinquished every moment. Short Lake's communication just came back online. Get the long-distance channels open as soon as we're free and able. Captain, I don't think Nolia is doing this. At least not alone. Sit down now, Mr. Barrow. Prepare the stations and release for launch. Yes, Captain. We don't need the Walton to find the crew. Set the other auxiliary vessels in formation and enter the coordinates for the Bifrost fleet. They are our priority. I've already made the decision. We all support your decision. You know what you want. We only want to help you achieve it. 感谢你们，也感谢你们大力支持。Doctor and Constance, and it's good to see you again. It is nice to see you again, General. Constance, let me introduce Doctor Arif Ganem, Doctor Nasha Okoro, Doctor Elena Wagner, Doctor Thasiri Ragana, Captain Leslie Park, and of course, President of the Order of the Technocracy, Doctor Imkaban. It's an honor to meet you. Dr. Wagner, it is wonderful to see you again. 
I worked as a fundraising consultant for your staff several years ago. On the Kozlov, I believe. Yes. Well, let's begin. Constance is joining us and has signed all the required paperwork for the meeting. So, Dr. Zhang and Tui, have you come to an initial decision? Yes. I think the Bifrost is a good choice. I think I could do some good out there. It is likely better for me not to remain on the stations, for my sake and for the sake of those I love. Not that we want her to go. So, what's next? What do you propose? You've already looked over the Bifrost flight information? Extensively, and the proposed terraforming work in the core system, and where I would eventually have a home. The scope of the work is actually very exciting. The time, though. I will be fine. It's much like station living, but it's difficult to wrap my head around a 25-year journey. Well, you would not be awake for all of it. And when I bring you to see the Bifrost, you'll see just how spectacular a vessel it is. I'm happy you're giving us the chance. The core system will be better off with you helping it grow. Next, then, is our plan to mitigate your presence. What does that mean? Simply put, we plan to fake your death. When we are done, there will be no Dr. Nalira Jiang Antwi to put upon the Bifrost to begin with. Then, you can adopt your new identity. Fake her death? Have you given any thought to the new last name we discussed during our previous meeting? Yes. What? Wait, Nalira. You knew about this. I think I always knew it was a possibility. Have you chosen something? Dr. Eck. Eck? Nalira, that sounds like a cough, not a name. What about something from our family history, or a friend? It needs to be something unassociated with my present life. Is it from Dr. Antal Eck? He worked in particle physics on the Moreau some, uh, 20 years ago. Astonishing work. No, nothing like that. As for the death, we have developed a few possible options. The technocracy will still request several public appearances beforehand. Which will fall into the plan relatively well. Wait, one moment. How long is this all going to take? When are you leaving? Next year, I think. The Bifrost launches in exactly 300 days from today. 300 days? Nolira, that's less than a year. I know, but we'll make the most of it. <sighs> and the bridge is broken. After all, I think I'm better suited alone. Well, I hope that wasn't your endgame. Vast Horizon, Season 2, Episode 10, Remainder. Written and created by K.A. Stats. Produced with sound design by Travis Fengroff. Featuring executive producer Bobby Fatimi. Mixing and mastering by Brandon Strader. And dialogue editing by Marissa Ewing of Hemlock Creek Productions. Starring Siobhan Lumston as Dr. Nolira Eck, Tanya Maloyevich as Ali, Daniel Demerin as Sunson on Anrune, Christy Luce as Poiano, David Devereaux as Auden Barrow, David Alt as Captain Sarpon, and Lonnie Manella as Captain Gron. Also featuring additional voices by Sophie DeReese, A.R. Olivieri, Emily Battles, Caitlin Statz, Fiona Thrail, Sam Yao, Ryan Philbrook, Max Lando, Naomi McMillan, Juliana Gutierrez Arango, Diane Casanova, Garen Fitzgerald, and L. Jeffrey Moore as Captain Park. We would also like to thank some very special people who've made this production possible, including Amy Hudson, David Scheimer, Akuli Ellefson, Silver Farak, Matt Harvest, Tiffany Pattern, James Mahaffey, Shizuho Aho, Munuar Bajani, Brian Shirley, Ian McConnell, Noah, Primith Pilari, Greg Glaspie, James Reese, Daniel Stewart, Marcus Larson, Connor Grenier, Jeffrey Alley, Victoria Novello, Jules Pierpont, Joshua Karan, Monica, Big Carl, Thor Bjork, Brian Feeney, Daniel Hayes, Chris Enrico, Varo Patariki Clow, Garish, soon to be Doctor, Balasabramaniam, Robert Robinson, George Santos Garcia, Zachariah Gutierrez, Joshua Burnham, Daniel Urchwal, Richard Maxton, Christian Treat, Jennifer Lowry, Kayla Billiou, Matthew Sinclair, Taylor Lane, Darian Allen, Marshall Mintz, Julian Vincent Thornborough, Intronaut, James MacArthur, John Rogers, and Terry Woolley. The title theme for Vast Horizon, Adrift, was written by Brandon Boone, arranged by Stephen Malin, and sung by the Budapest Scoring Choir. Translations were provided by Sophie Yang. This show is only possible due to the generosity of our fans through Patreon. 
This production is copyrighted 2020 by Fool and Scholar Productions, and Vast Horizon is a trademark of Caitlin Stats. No Lira will return in Season 3. Thank you for listening. <laughs>